And another example, a helicopter flies 72 miles east and then 90 miles south. On what heading should it fly to return straight to its starting point? Again, draw a diagram. So let's picture this movement. He flies 72 miles east, so let's pick a starting point. That's going to be 72, and that's in miles, and then 90 miles south. So from that point, he then goes 90 miles south. And I'll draw this one a little bit longer than that one, because 90 is a little bit bigger than 72. Now the question is, on what heading should the helicopter fly to return straight to its starting point? So from here, straight back to there. What heading should that be? Well, this isn't too bad. Let's call this angle right down here theta, this angle, and let's calculate theta. We know the tangent of theta, tangent has to be opposite over adjacent. And I know both of those. I know that the side opposite theta and the side adjacent theta, which is why I decided to use the tangent of the angle. Tangent theta in this case is going to be 72 over 90. So theta must be the inverse tangent of 72 over 90. And on the calculator, that comes out to be 39 degrees. 39 degrees, so that angle is 39 degrees. What we want is the heading. So let's imagine north, south, east, west. From this point, what is the heading that would take us in that direction? And headings are measured clockwise from north. So this is the angle that we're looking for. How many degrees is that? Well, what you can hopefully see, if you've drawn a good diagram, is that we would have here a full rotation of 360 degrees if we went all the way around, but we're stopping short by this much, by theta. So this angle right here, which is the heading that we're looking for, is 360 degrees minus theta. So our answer is going to be 360 degrees minus the value we got for theta, minus 39. And that comes out to be 321 degrees. That's our answer.